Now what we're going to do is add some more interesting elements to this program because when we run this program, I have to keep clicking on the arrow keys to get this to move. So it would make it kind of a difficult game if I have to keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing, and you see it's not going very far. So we want to get some continuous movement going. We're going to make some changes to this program to do the continuous mo movement. I'm not going to do a lot of explaining because the explaining is going to come in the homework videos that you're going to watch during this week. So we're going to go ahead and just do the code. You can kind of see what it's happening and what the code is doing and then when you hear it in the lecture it'll make the lecture make a little bit more sense. It'll be easier to take notes on I think after you've already done it and kind of experienced it. So we're just going to kind of dive right in. Right now we just have the pick position and we have the velocity and that's how it's moving. So the position is related to the velocity because when the velocity changes the position changes. Now if you've got any kind of physics going on, maybe you learned a little in your physical science class, you also know that velocity is related the same way to acceleration. So we've got pick position to velocity, we're going to have velocity to acceleration. So the velocity changes as the acceleration changes and the position changes as the velocity changes. So we're actually going to be changing instead of velocity here in our key down, we're going to change it to acceleration. So I'm just going to put an ACC, and our acceleration is going to be a little bit less than 4, because that would make it go really fast. So I'm just going to put it, put it at 2. Now here where we had velocity, let's go ahead and change this to acceleration, ACC. Make that change now so I don't get an error later. And then instead of the pick position changing, um, what I need here is velocity, because the acceleration affects the velocity. The velocity affects position. So I'm going to add in another global variable called pick vel for pick velocity, and its initial values are just going to be zero. It doesn't have any velocity to begin with. Notice that I'm making this like an ordered pair. It's going to be a list. So my first element is going to be affecting the x value, and the second element will be affecting the y value, just like it did for this one. So I'm going to come down here to this key, and I I'm going to be changing the, the velocity, so I'm going to use global so that the value gets changed everywhere. And then here, instead of pick position, let's just change this to velocity. So I'm going to go through and do that. So what I'm going to be doing in my key down is changing the velocity based on acceleration instead of the position based on velocity. So it's just kind of a similar concept but we're just kind of going up a level with velocity and acceleration instead of acceleration and position. Okay, now in my canvas, I'm always going to change the position based on velocity. So I'm also going to make it global. Here I'm going to make my pick position global because I'm going to keep changing its value and I'm going to be um, incrementing my pick by velocity. So my first one, pick, pause, with element 0, which is my x, I'm going to increment always by the velocity. Pick vel element 0. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for my element y, which is position 1. Get all my square brackets correct there. So my key down is going to change the velocity based on acceleration. And then my draw is always going to change the pick position and then draw the smiley. And I forgot a little bracket there. Okay, so you have to be careful with all your typing. Okay, so now, notice how it keeps going. I only pressed once, but it keeps going, and that's kind of the problem. I can kind of move it around. It should be coming back eventually. So it's working great, but it's not stopping. So we're going to add in, we have key down. We're also going to add in a key up so that it will stop and not just kind of go off the screen. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it, and I'm just going to make some changes. So instead of down, I'm going to say up. 
and I'm going to change all my pluses to minuses and all my minuses to pluses. So here I had a minus. I just want to do the exact opposite. So when the key's up, it's going to do the opposite. So just go through and change all your increments and decrements. Make sure that they do the opposite. Now that I have a key up, I also need to have a handler for it. So I'm going to come here where I did the key down handler. And let's add a key up handler, which is my key up function. So it should stop. So I'm going to press the arrow key one time, and there it goes. All right, and I'm going to keep pressing it. As long as I keep pressing it, it goes, and when I stop pressing it, it stops. So I don't have to keep tapping it. I don't have to do tap, 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 tap. I can just hold, and I can do a couple of them at a time. So I've got some great controls. Now you can kind of see yourself playing a game with your picture, going around trying to catch or avoid things. Now I have continuous movement. I haven't programmed it yet to detect the edges, so I haven't crashed yet. I can go off. I can come back. So we'll be doing that later. If you want to go ahead and think about it now, you probably can. It's just going to be if statements. Everything we've learned about this semester, that's all we're using. So we're not even using any loops because this is interactive, but just think about your if statements. When do I want it to stop? And what do I want it to do when it stops? So at this point, you should have a great little character moving all around your screen. It's maybe your little image, your small picture, or maybe it's mine. But you've got it going. So this is a great time to save your program. You want to save it frequently so you can always come back if mistakes are made. We're going to keep building so make sure you get this working perfectly before you go on to the next lesson.